Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 95 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. So apparently we have to take Rosaline here again. So this is an impressive number of ghosts. And they're all acting out. It's no wonder that there's been damages to the outlying villages. I was wondering why this happened. Even though we it's been some time. Apparently just the time elapsing was enough for them to go berserk. <laughs> So, the Way of Flowing Spirits is a place for them to gather and be guided without getting lost. So, she as the manager of this place shouldn't be leaving it. Keeping the spirits quiet is one of her responsibilities. Oh, so that's the role of the manager here, huh? In other words, this is a place where there ought to be a manager, and if there isn't, the ghosts start getting crazy. Right, this is why she thinks that she can't leave. Hey, quit making such a dark face. And we've got to talk for you afterwards. For the moment, let's quiet these girls down. Hmm, okay. First things first, he's got a holy hammer, doesn't he? There it is. And mercy. You're high enough level that we don't need you out right now. But you should be aware that Rosalie needs to come to this event in order to clear the map. Now, I told everybody that Hmm, excuse me. The fool meal that we picked up off of... What's his face? Kalmerg. Was going to be Fia's accessory. But it will work pretty much... For pretty much anyone. As long as we're using the... Suima shield to get them the... Ranged capture attack. Otherwise, you need the accessory slot for the capture rope. And you can't use the capture rope and the full mail in the same accessory slot. Since the Suma shield goes in the shield slot, that's workable. Hmm. Ah, whatever. And other level 28 or lower characters. I'm out of, I probably will unequip Deet's crossbow and give him the angel glove. We got a bunch of those. Shutsugeki! I'm just drawing those two out because they're hilarious. I mean, they do need the experience, sure, but they're also hilarious. Mm. 
Most of the ghosts around here are really only vulnerable to magic attacks. But Eel also has a holy sword, so she can take these guys down. Uh, speaking of which... <laughs> now Yorin has a fire-based melee attack, which does a decent amount of damage, as you can see. It's no holy attack, but... well, what is? Oh, crap. Hmm. The unfortunate fact of the matter is Yorin can only use that attack like four times before it runs out of spell points. Although I still have like a million... Or whatever... Hmm, interesting. Uh, spell potions. Magic potions. Well, well. Too powerful. I guess I better bring Fia out. Haha, <laughs> I've always been charmed. Hmm. There's actually a pretty good chance she can't defeat it in this turn. Yep, there you go. If it hadn't, hadn't got its shield off and she had gotten a crit, then she could have done it. So yeah, it was unlikely. But as I've stated before, the undead have notoriously low luck. So, a critical hit on these guys is actually pretty common. Well, better than standing around looking pretty. Oops. Oh, crap. That was actually pretty good luck. Hmm. Avaro is pretty well damaged. I should get him out of there. Uh, assuming he survives this turn. No, Yorin's run out of spell points. Bastards.
Yorin probably won't capture this guy because of its life gain powers. But, well, there's always next turn. Hmm. Yeah, time to run away, Avaro. I think I'll pull Risho and Seri out here to back up Mikeyu. Well, hell. Detail needs the experience, too. Someone's still trying to kill him. This is bad. Yeah, the only thing that can save him is his dodge skill. No, that wasn't your dodge skill, that was your shield skill. <sighs> you know, maybe I should have... ...actually pulled her out well, like I said I would. That would have helped things. Backs. Bunch of bastards. Jeez, it's just so many of them. Kodo Kaishita. Oh, 
No, all right, let's have Detail do this Sorry, mining. Look at that. Equip a mercy ring on Fia so we can knock this girl down. I may as well point this out. Mm. You may recall, back in the town, I equipped a one of those buildings. That big one. It adds two to the damage of my skills. My physical skills. That includes the capture skill. Which in other respects is identical to just a bog standard attack. Other than making you go slower and hit less often. But now it has bonus attack to it. So, that's how that worked. Anyway. Hmm. I could have sworn... Oh no, I equipped the capture rope instead of the... What was I thinking? Mercy ring. Hey, I just thought of something. Rishu and Sally has that ranged attack, or rather, area of effect attack. Oops. Alright, this time I'll let it slide. Anyway, Rishu and Sally has that area of effect attack. Which means it can hit enemies as well as allies. But if she has the Mercy Ring equipped, does that mean even if she hits an ally, the ally won't die even if they're super weak to what she's doing? Hmm, whom can I test that on? Her area of effect attack happens to be a holy attack. So the people weak against Holy would be... Deed Helm. He has too much life. Rosaline. Probably too much life. And my two ghosts. Hehe. <laughs> Whoops. Just a little bit for detail before I get him over to this statue. Uh, yeah, this'll do. That didn't go as well as I thought it would, actually. Okay, don't revive, don't revive. It would have come back with like 8 life and it would take forever to kill it. Well, another turn, really. Alright, one more time and we'll see what happens.
Oh, and now that she did that holy attack, both of these guys are at 1 8 hit point. Come on, aren't any of you guys gonna get level ups? These guys are all like level 30 and your level's 28. Mikeu's 27. And still... <sighs> oh, Mikeu took a bit of damage from that holy attack too. I should show off that extra item at least once, shouldn't I? Okay, let's get that ranged skill on. She has this holy attack that will have three range. Fumbashawa! Yawn. Ah, <laughs> Yes, that was 252 damage. She's good against ghosts. You know what, there's a feather here. And your ridiculous smile is just so ridiculous I have to look at it more. Alright, here we go. Will she have mercy on our allies? Apparently, yes. That's nice. Alright, I. Thanks for the experiment. <laughs> I know it was a little painful for you, but we really enjoyed it, so it's worth it, right? Oh, yes. Better deploy Varo again. Yes. Let's see, that's most of the gathering. I have one more mining point to find. Although, actually, I already know where it is. But I don't actually need Restrain City anymore. Oh, 
行動開始だ Oh yeah, now that we're approaching the end, I guess it's time to bring Rosalina out as well. Okay, you I'm bringing out for an experiment. Well, one that won't kill him this time. But there's something I want to know. Yes, capture, capture. Code of Kaisha. Ore no debandana. Oh, Mikio has been hurt. Oh, yeah. That's right. Risho and Sally exploded two times on her. So let's disequip this and put the healing back on. And heal Mikeu. Okay, I think we're done with you guys. Sure, attack the weakling. Opportunistic best. And attack the one that can't fight back. That's right, I said I would equip the angel glove on him. A darkness necklace. Now here's that double item again. In this case we get two spirit stones. So uh, it keeps happening. I don't draw a lot of attention to it, but it keeps happening. Hmm, yeah, stay here. Let's just finish off that enemy before moving Rosaline in. Well, in addition to that... Alright, everybody ready? Great. Hey, there's a big door up there. Alright, so there have been a lot of spirits, but... Since the manager is here, and it seems that the parts that the manager needs to operate are still here... We made it! Let's hurry and manage the hell out of these guys. Okay, so we're gonna watch around the outsides. And she's gonna do what she needs to do. Oh no, she left our party. And appeared right there. So if Rosaline dies, then we lose. But other than that, if we defeat everybody, we win. Now, I was curious about this. Even though Rosaline isn't in our party, you is not automatically unsummoned. Interesting.
Angel glove. Well, it's better than nothing. No, oh, and this anti-air attack still goes off. It's a pity he still doesn't have the damage to deal. To get through to them, you know. Oh, hey, I got a scarf. Three hero potions. Those are to store fatigue. Bah. Okay, experiment's over. Thank you, you. Oh. Well, whatever. Oh. Well. We lose the game if Rosaline dies. But as you can see, this guy didn't even make a move towards her. And this one just threw a ranged attack. I think the only way you could actually get her to die is if you charge it in here and got her on the event before killing the Wraith over in this square, was it? So that the enemy still controlled the room. And thereby more enemies would actually be attacking her. In my trial run, I, I just ran her up there thinking it would end the map. And she was all by herself in the room and then, and then you, she's surrounded by enemies. And I'm like, oh, holy shit, I fucked up. So I took it back and came back in. And then I learned, hey, these guys don't actually do anything. Most of the time. Unless they're specifically in range of her. You see that? It's supposed to make you worried for her safety, and they just stand there. Now. Which level 28 shall I run over to this one? Actually, I think I'll have Fia run that direction. Then she can summon her two Yuiki that are still level 28. Uh, defend yourself, Avaro. Fortunately, he's on a square that will heal him a little bit, and I think it provides one extra defense. Ha, sucker! Oh, a silver medal. Those are worth like a hundred gold or a thousand gold or something. But I'm keeping Avaru in that room just so that we can maintain control of it. Mm. Oh, I level up, that's good. Magic attack, very good. I very much enjoy killing things with that. Look, stop attacking Avaro before I come over there and murder you, okay? Although, in all fairness, I guess I'll murder you anyway. Hmm, do I want to have Detelm take the kill? Taking control isn't going to matter because I won't get 100% control this time. Oh, I forgot to summon my Yuiki. 
Yeah, let's finish this off. Swap it. Uh... Great. So, that last one is defeat 25 enemies in total. Obviously, there aren't any whirlpools kicking out monsters, so you just have to keep returning to the map until the total comes to 25. You get fire shards for it. <laughs> oh, excellent. These are the seven color mushrooms. I need those. For a couple of consumables I found in my trial room. Anyway, looks like we've quieted down those spirits. So we've quieted down the spirits that we're going berserk, and for the moment it looks like the villages in the surrounding area won't be harmed. <laughs> yep, there aren't any of them remaining that want to cause trouble. But, rather quickly, these guys will eventually l lose themselves out here. Because of their sorrow at dying, and their desire to live in a human body again, living body, they'll get lost and, well, as we've seen. So she clutches her fists as she says this. So, it's Rosaline's intention to stay here and keep that from happening, is it? But we can already tell that that's not what you actually want. So, even though it's not what you want, why is it? Now, here's explaining that from what she's said so far, it's clear that that's not what she wants. <laughs> so she says her will is unrelated. It's something that she simply must do. Something that can't be left undone. Okay, anyway, you're already freed from the curse. You don't need to be bound to this role. Perhaps she isn't, but... If she just pursues her own desires, her own happiness, then many people will have trouble befall them on her account. And for the, one, the ones that are troubled by all this won't be just the spirits. Left, left alone long enough, the entire Influence Kingdom could be in trouble. It's true that there were some villages nearby. But could this actually spread through the whole kingdom? That would be bad. Still, to say that if we just r sacrifice rules lean, everything will turn out all right. Well, nobody's happy with that. So, I was trying to think of some way to convince Rosaline of something else. But, Fia has something that she's anxious to ask here. So, does that mean that Rosaline was happy being in the castle with us? Is that the only part of the conversation you heard? Yes, she literally said that, but there was a ton of other stuff. And yes, staying in the castle was 
to her. A true blessing. In that case, Fia definitely wants to do something for her. So if Rosaline wants to stay in the castle, then let's all think about some way to get it to work. Well, it's not that simple. As we've just seen, these ghosts will go berserk eventually. But if there was a way, then Rosaline wouldn't have to stay here, right? That is the case, but... So let's all think about it. If we do, for sure we'll find some way that you can stay in the castle and such. So, why is Fia so... like she is, you know? Well, so we're all gung-ho for keeping Rosaline from making this particular choice. Not so much because we don't like her choice, but because we know she doesn't... she doesn't like her choice. After all, if she stays, the whole problem will be solved, right? Well, we want you to stay with us. That's why we're so desperate to help here. And for, to that purpose, we need to find a way to fix this ghosts going crazy problem so that you don't have to stay here. So I've already asked Sphia now if there isn't anything different about this area. Avaro says it like he's noticed something, but wants Fia's opinion as well. So this is Introduce Kingdom's Tamamori, well, way of flowing spirits, and a place where spirits tend to gather. Having lost their bodies, they come here and they're lost and lost and lost there are actually three different words Japanese have for that, in any case. Being here and being guided by the manager of the place, they eventually find the right place to go. Since this manager is our spirit mage, once she was gone, they lost their way and started lashing out. So in this case, why would they gather here? There must be something different. So that's what we're asking Fia. So, Fia does notice that there aren't a lot of spirits that she can see here. Not like the ghosts, we can see that, but the spirits she usually interacts with such as our four Yuiki and things like those earth spirits that look like kind of bulbous metal lizards the water fairies oh the those four-legged fire monsters were also spirit types those type of spirits those don't reside here even though they reside in most natural places Okay, Avaro did notice that as well. This land is all broken up apart. And for that reason, those type of ghosts gather here, but spirits don't. So this place, due to the pollution of the grounds, have none of the usual elemental spirits living in it. So does Rosaline know why it's come to be like this? So, 
Well, she's heard that this place was one of the battlegrounds in the Fuchsia Wars. Recall when Fuchsia saved a god and became deified himself. This was one of the major battlegrounds and yeah, they broke the place. Seriously, this place is wrecked. And how long has it been? Off the top of my head, I think it was uh, 700 years or so. Or maybe they didn't give an exact number. Anyway, long time. So yes, thanks to that violent battle, the ground is broken. In Infra's Kingdom, there's also the Withered Ravine. Remember Eel's hometown? That was also a place like this. Although it didn't have the spirits, the ghosts problem, it's also not a place where people can live. So if this is the case, perhaps what we need to do is actually kind of simple. We need to repair and rejuvenate the land. But we do need to make sure not to eliminate its feature of drawing ghosts in. Oh, Avar has an idea. Yes. Basically, he wants something that can guide the, the ghosts. A kind of guidance thing that will affect them. So, one of the tasks of the manager is to guide the ghosts so they don't go berserk like this. And if we can place something that can do that job for her, then even if she's not here, it'll be alright. So let's see if we can get some of our spirits to help us out. Then we can get, in place of Rosaline, some spirits working the place. And for that purpose, Fia and Avaro are going to help you out. Okay? <laughs> Alright, Fia understands. She says we need to revive this land in order to do it. Well, that's one way. It sounds really complicated, doesn't it? And furthermore, if we can fix this place up properly, then the elemental spirits can be able to move back in. But in addition to those kind of spirits, Avaro wants to set something down here that can clean the surroundings automatically. After all, the reason they go crazy is they are drawn to living bodies. That's why our spirit mage was made the manager, so they'd be drawn to her. Why they never lashed out at her is because she had those abilities to prevent it. Alright, so we need to make sure the spirits are guided out. So those are the manager's two tasks. I suppose to keep them from lashing out and to guide them to the next place. So if we make the right device, we should be able to fix it fairly quickly. As fortune fa has it, this tower is here and that should be usable in our work. Rosalina, by the way, has this totally incredulous look on her face. So is that truly possible? Well, if we can, at least for a time, 
get the spirits managed. It shouldn't be too difficult. But it's probably not something that will work indefinitely. Probably a manager will be necessary. But at the very least, Alvaro thinks he can make something that can let Rosaline stay with us until we get to the God's Haze. So even though Rosaline had made up her mind and prepared her heart for parting from us and all that we meant to her, we've been able to show her another way out and now She's feeling a bit lost herself. <laughs> so, why would we go so far just to help someone like her? So it's not someone like her, it's for her, specifically. Well, that's exactly it. If possible, would you like to help us out as well, Rosaline? You should probably be able to contribute to this as well. And in any case, rather than giving up from the very beginning, this is a lot more healthy, don't you think? So, Rosaline gets this I've totally lost to you people look on her face. So she does think it's wonderful to have people like us to rely on. Ha. So yes. She will have them let her cooperate. And she is pretty knowledgeable about this area, so she should be able to. Also, she will send a message to Influence Kingdom to send somebody to take over for her. Well, that will be a big help. If they do, perhaps the, uh, the ghosts won't go crazy again. Well, she's been doing this for, what, 150 years? But, apparently when she was 10 years old or whatever, she was sent into this job, so possibly they have some way of empowering someone else. Now, the Infoloose Kingdom doesn't get along with us, but Rosaline here has been a faithful servant for so long, they probably won't ignore her. Probably. <laughs> so, I've always said that by helping them out, there she is really saving them. But she says that she is the one being saved here. And she is the one who wants to give her thanks. So, thank you. And not just for her, but also for the ghosts here, whom Avaro is willing to take care of. So, Take good care of the way of flowing spirits for her. And she's back. And that's something I can build. And that is MEGA POWER! You know, I haven't had much use for goddess ranks in a while. Oh, yeah, this thing. This is another version of the hot, of the on hot springs scene. It includes Katorito and Mikshuana as well as the others that were there before. But it's actually the same conversation. Just with a couple of blurbs from those two characters added in.
Well, that's it. It's Mick Shuana talks with Kisnir a bit. And Katharito talks with Risha and Tseli a bit. And otherwise, the exact same conversation. So, I think I've been going for a while. I beat that whole map and showed you the before and after cutscenes. So, thank you for watching and I will build that thing and probably go on to the next map next time.